Um, I'd say from about 14 to 15 years old. Um, I'm 18 now um, and when I first started at 10 years old it was just like a hobby. It was just something I did out of school and then I kind of like I started realising I was getting better and you know, everyone around me was telling me that I, that I can go all the way. I've known since I was, I know it sounds a bit cliche, but since I was very young that I've always wanted to be a pilot. When I was at school, when I was doing the exams, that was, you know, blinkered. That was all I was thinking about. That was all that was um, in your head because that's all you know and that's all you see and that's like, you know, you don't know what's after your exams because you don't necessarily know what you want to do. I've always known what I wanted to do, yes. Um, but at the same time, you always need to have a backup plan. Stuff that you probably wouldn't realise that would help you now at such a young age, but it's all this stuff that you're doing extra, work experience, uh, sort of sports clubs that will stand you in great stead later on when you come to sort of apply for jobs. It's, it's just the, the sort of extra curricular activities that help. One of the key routes to my success and my progression um, is the work experience. I think I got the work experience mainly because I, I worked hard um, within that subject. I think the biggest hurdle would be school and exams because it's, it's scary. School um, depends what you're doing. If, if you're in lessons and stuff that you're doing is boring, then everyone gets bored. Drama is my favourite, but then I like art and I like history. Some lessons. My other lessons are just boring. It's fun subjects and you're doing um, like things active, like in drama. Um, then it's good because you're not just sitting down doing theory, you're up on your feet. School is important because we need an education to get be successful in life. Repetition, you might not find something easy the first time, but it's all about just maybe cracking on, giving it another go because nothing's going to come easy, so just about putting the extra effort in really. If I could change anything, I probably would listen more in my classes to the teachers. I'd have to say that I, I couldn't see myself 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, sort of commuting. I'd like to become a lawyer in the future. I'd want to work with children. I saw one be in uh, police force. To play for Chelsea and be one of the best players in the world. I've got no idea what to do. Work hard um, in every aspect if you don't know what you want to do. Because until you know what you want to do, you, your possibilities are endless. To be where I am now, um, I started off just doing it as a hobby. Sort of grab every opportunity you can at the moment because no one's going to sort of hand these to you later on in life and while they're there for the taking it's just best to grab them while you can. It's really important to remember that you know if you, you need to work hard because no one else is going to work hard for you, no one else is going to do it for you. You have to have the drive and the ambition if you want to do something, make it happen.